So chat, we're gonna decide, we're gonna read these questions, we're gonna decide if I'm gonna truth or drink. And we're gonna be deciding today. Will I be truthing or drinking to these questions? By the way, join um join r slash cottontail VA. Yeah, that's right. I really want to make this more active. We have 3.9K members. That's pretty good, huh? We have 10 online. Huge numbers, huge numbers. Question number one from Techno. Would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Um, okay, a little bit of a weird, odd question to start at, but that's okay. You know what? That's all right. We're just gonna, we're gonna move forward with it. Okay, horses are really f big. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with the... I'm gonna have to go with the 100 duck-sized horses. I could totally f take on 100 duck-sized horses, dude. Dude, you can just kick the shit out of them. Just kick the shit out, easy peasy, dude, literally. I got the biggest legs, I got the thickest thighs. Dude, I could squash some of them. That would be the best death ever for them, personally. Anyways, uh, the truth is, I would rather fight 100 duck-sized horses. Thank you for your question. Moving on. Did you eat before streaming today? Can you please roll your art? My good girl. These are these are multiple questions. Yeah. Um. Th that's many questions. I'm gonna ask the first. I'm gonna ask that you ask the first one first. Did you eat before streaming today? I'm gonna be honest. Right next to me, I have a bagel that I have not eaten. It's right here. That's the truth. Um. I forgot to eat before stream, but that's okay. I'm only asking the answering the first question. Fuck you. Wait. Does that mean I have to drink? Does that mean I have to? I'm drinking. I'm drinking. Mm. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's strong. Read the boys smell copy pasta and add back Whopper. Oh, and stream Balding Gates. Hey, 7-Eleven. Um, I find it kind of funny how, um, I'm not sure if you know this, but, uh, <laughs> that's not a fucking question, bitch. That's not a fucking question. There's not a single question mark in that goddamn statement. That's just, that's you asking things. That's you demanding things. Pretty sure this is ask me anything, not AMDA. Ask me do anything. Ask me TDA. Fuck me. Ask me to do anything. This is not an AMTDA. What was the nicest thing someone ever said to you? Ah, oh, this is when I was working at Value Village and I had just gotten done talking to this guy. And this guy, this customer, he came in and he said, hey, um, can I look at the, the, the case? Like the case of, you know, whatever you have, the, the jewelry case. And I said, yes, you can just follow me, please, sir. I took my key and I opened the drawers and I opened all the things. And I said, here, you can take a look. And he was respectful up until the point where I said, would you like to see anything else? That's what I said. I said, would you like to see anything else? Just guess what he said. I was 16 at the time, by the way. I said, would you like to see anything else? He says, well, yeah, I would, but I'm afraid I'd get a punch in the face if I did ask. Which is like, what the fuck? Bruh, who says that to someone? So after I just, I just dealt with that, this other guy comes up to me and I was just helping him. I was scanning his items and shit and, you know, putting it away. And he says, you know, I don't know if you've heard this before, but you have a very kind energy and aura about you. And you can just tell that your soul is very kind. And I was like, Aww. um, are you, you, you really think so? <laughs> oh. How to project top energy when you have social anxiety? That's just, what are you talking about? It's not like I had social anxiety from years nine to forever and with, with uh, social anxiety, um, uh, frankly, you just have to fake it till you make it. Yeah, you got it, booty. You gotta fake it till you fucking make it, baby, 100%. VR chat is a really good way to get your training wheels with speaking with people. At first, you can mute your mic. You can just be a mute if you want. Sure, who cares? I implore you, if you are dealing with social anxiety, to just try. You know what's crazy? Literally jumping in a Discord call counts as social interaction. That counts, you're speaking with another person, you're speaking with other people. That is social interaction. Take the tiniest step you can. Don't just, don't let your fear dictate your life. It is really hard being confident in the sexual way when you're not confident in yourself or your sexiness or your ability. It is very hard and that is okay. At first, you're gonna have to fake it, but then you'll get more comfortable with it. Just try, 100%. Why is your nickname Bug or why are you called Bug? What is the story? I think it's pretty. Um, I'm named Bug because when I was a kid, I used to have so many fucking questions. I would ask my mom, I would ask my mom all the time. I'd be like, mom, how does, how does this work? Why is the sky blue? Mom, how does gas turn into movement for cars? I'd be like, mom, 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 mom how does Mommy. this work? I was called bug because I would ask so many questions about why the sky was blue, how remote controllers worked, like what? I'd ask so many questions and mom said, 
Cotton, you are such a little bug. You just love bugging me. And so that is how my name came to be. <laughs> Your best fuck. Ooh, okay. Well, my best fuck would have to be, um, I think. <sighs> what size cooch do you use? <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> what class do you play in Baldur's Gate? I am playing a monk. I'm playing a monk half elf. Why do you simp for Karlak? I actually simp for someone else. I don't, I mean, like, I don't know if you guys are familiar with him. <laughs> he's really, he's. Uh, <laughs> do you ever do an NSFW podcast series and invite special guests over? Okay, can you fucking stop leaking before I do? Yeah, it's in the work. Stop. It, I'm thinking about it. I'm planning shit. What is the third worst thing you've eaten ever? Um, like as in taste or as in like grossest unnormal thing intelligent? What do you think? Oh my God, you know what? One chip was disgusting. The one chip was disgusting. It tastes so bad and it's so fucking hot. I've also um had a little bit of, um, let's just say a uh, chug jug from um, someone who didn't drink enough water. So yeah, instead of it being chug jug, it was more like chug slop. Can I be honest, I'm a bit of a, I'm a pussy when it comes to eating weird, interesting foods. I would never eat like a liver. I would never eat heart. I would never eat brain. Escargot, absolutely not. No fish. I would never eat fish, dude. Any collabs coming up? If so, with who? Mm, fancy spark. We have a collab coming up with a Camila right after. And I have a lot in the works, okay, fancy? I have a lot I'm planning, okay? Do you fart? Cheers. How do you get over any fears about identity related things if I have X kink, I'm a bad person or weird as such? Okay, if you are worried about people judging you, I'm sorry for that. Cause that means that other people have judged you in the past. That means you've opened up to people and it went negatively for whatever reason, you know, you're worried about being judged. Personally, I don't think anybody is a bad person unless they act on these bad kinks. Um, okay, then again, there's some exceptions for that, but you know what I mean? In fantasy, sure, uh, sure but just don't act on it. It's kind of like having a crush when you're in a relationship. Like if you have a crush on somebody else, that's fine, that's fine. But if you act on it, if you actually physically do something that would either, I don't know, entice the other person to chase after you or chase after them, you know what I mean? If you're flirting with them, whatever the fuck, it's just wrong, don't do that. But if you really are worried about this kink that you have, perhaps it is so just morally incorrect, then it is not a bad thing to seek therapy, 100%. And unfortunately, I'm not a, a professional. So if you are worried about that, then go see a professional. But if you are absolutely like, if it's just like a, oh, I have a foot fetish, then people around you need to grow the fuck up, dude. Who fucking cares if you have a foot fetish? Like there's there's a lot of big things in the world that matter. You having a cute little interest in a, a certain body part, that shouldn't be important. When will we get a face reveal? Here's the thing, there are stalkers, all right? And uh, knowing the things that I have done and put outline on the on the outline, you know what I mean? On the, on the, on the internet, on the webs, I most likely, hmm, maybe. I'll hit it with a solid maybe. But as of right now, I don't have any date planned. I don't have any plans to do a face reveal. Thank you for your question though. They have a little smooch and then everything's gonna be okay, idiot. Huh. That's not a fucking question. Go fuck yourself. Kidding. Everything's gonna be okay. Okay? Hey, you dumb fuck. Okay? You idiot. Stop getting in your own head, okay? It's gonna be okay. Thanks for your question. What's the most inappropriate crush you've ever had? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>